here I'm working on repairing my gauges because they're leaking. And I just want to eliminate a leak on the head. I'm taking the heads off. First, for the boots to go on and off easier, I don't want to ruin my boots. You can see they're already starting to tear here. Loosen this up, pull it up just enough so it comes out. Okay, let's remove it. These boots aren't, aren't easy to go on and off anyway. If I remember correctly, I think those rips were from when I tried to put them on. <laughs> but I do always recommend having the boots on. Okay, they're out of the way. So these are the factory and I don't know. It may not be leaking. I'm just not in the mood to chance it right now. I just want to eliminate any possible issue. I mean, at times you may have to replace the gauges because they fail. the valve opening and closing okay so first head first let's add some teflon With the existing, we take off. Clean up. Always want to make sure you have nice clean threads. I always believe in Teflon on any pneumatic, anything dealing with air, gas, anything. Teflon is the way to go on creating a nice seal. That's more than enough. Okay. side back on this is gonna be the last turn because that is really tight so I could always tighten them more, but with Teflon tape, unfortunately, you do not get the chance when you over tighten it to back it off or else you just created a leak. You always want to make sure your threads are clean and ready to go. My one little Teflon doesn't want to come out, so 
That's where a little pick is perfect. I have the whole set of these from Harbor Freight. It's a great buy because it was like two or three dollars. But they come in handy for so many things when you're trying to clean stuff up. I am overdoing it with the Teflon. And I know that. But the Teflon creates the seal. Don't close your hole up with the Teflon, or else then you're going to have problems testing. Okay. And once it starts getting tight, you do not want to be turning from here. It's already starting to get pretty tight. I'm going to do one more turn on it. Because it's getting pretty tight. Make sure these are tight. I'm putting pressure on them. I don't want to bend the valves or anything inside. Probably won't bend it, but I don't want a chance. <clears throat> okay, the red side is straight. Now the blue. Good. So they're back on. I think I might have drove him in a little further than this side. I'm not worried about that because he said he seemed pretty tight. Okay, let's get my boots back on. This is the hardest spot to put on. It is in the middle. You can still see there's oil on here from last time. Or it might just be spray because there is no easy way to do this. little bit <clears throat> Do a little Teflon jumped on okay these boots they're good for four or five years usually and you gotta replace them I've had these boots on here probably let's see I bought these gauges last hmm Last summer, I bought them. Beginning. So this way I could add it to my couple gauges I have already. Now with this, if you have thread lock seal, it might be a good idea. Yellow jackets are not as bad as some of the other brands I've owned. I mean, some of the other brands, I've had them where these hooks are falling off all the time. I think it was Imperial. 
and they would fall off all the time. And I would put them back on, and they fall off, and I put them back on, and I lose it, and I have to buy an aftermarket. I like Yellow Jacket. I think Yellow Jacket is probably one of the best companies out there that makes refrigeration tools. You know, there's lots of companies out there. But I find they're the most reliable. And Robin Air hoses are nice. I've never been a fan of their gauges. My first gauges from school was Robin Air. Okay. And I also, my leak wasn't at these. I just wanted to reseal them. But, well, I got everything off. Just cleaning everything up. Good. <sighs> Put the hoses back on. Okay. Oh, I sealed it back up. Now I got to get some nitrogen into here. Once you have everything back together, pressurize it with some nitrogen and let it hold a pressure test. You'll know if you have no leaks. And you're good to go. This is good to know how to do because sometimes you'll have to replace your heads. So you're doing the same thing. You're taking them off. You're sealing them. Teflon tape is the best way to seal them. So besides the Teflon tape on them to seal them, also get yourself these gauge boots. These gauge boots are very important because they protect your lens, your crystal. You don't want to have to replace the crystals because I mean, you can buy the crystals, but you don't want to buy them if you don't have to. You want to just kind of keep your tools going as good as possible. And I mean, these are not cheap, but they're not expensive. They're, there's more expensive tools out there on the market. But Yellow Jacket, as far as I'm concerned, they're the high end of the refrigeration world. There's probably some others that'll feel the other companies are better. But you want your tools to last. Till next time, hit like, subscribe, and share so your friends can see this video. Thank you.